Welcome back, treasures. This is the box we've been waiting for, Norse Blood, the November 2021 box from Ink Goddess Creations. If you're new here, I am so excited that you have chose this video to view on my channel. Let's not wait any further and jump right in. Norse blood. Honoring Norse deities is not just a belief path, it's a way of life. Invoking a sense of strength, power, and a warrior attitude for centuries, Norse blood runs through many pagan veins. This month's Ink Goddess Creations box is devoted to the Norse pantheon and magical practice. Okay, and the back tells us what we're going to get, so I'll just set that to the side, and let's see what's in the box. We have this nice red tissue. Ooh, and already I see great things here. So, as we would suspect for a Norse box, it looks like we have a little pouch of ruins. It's a very thick burlap pouch. And these nice wooden ruins. I, I do have to say I'm a little disappointed in these ruins. They're on this like, what feels like a weird particle board. I mean, you can see it. Dropped one. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. They don't really feel great in my hand. They have a nice burnt edge to them, but I'm, I'm just slightly disappointed. Simple ruins set in burlap bag. Runes are letters from the runic alphabet that can be used in divination, protection spells, healing spells, and so much more. Next up is this, which I really do love. This is a Vegvisir wooden altar tile. The Vegvisir is known as the Viking's compass, as it is believed that those who use it will never lose their way. This ancient symbol is also used for protection spells and rituals. That is very nice. I do like this. It's on this very nice piece of unfinished wood with this live edge, and that will look very pretty on the altar. I do like that. Next, we have the votive candle, which we always have a votive candle. Let's smell. Mm. It does smell good, and it's not very strong either. Viking's Blood Votive Candle, a blend of dragon's blood, cedar, and myrrh with a hint of roaring fire to awaken the Viking energy within you. I really love this color. This color is very nice. We have some kind of, looks like maybe a mist. Yes, some kind of mist. Odin mist. Invoke the Norse god of war for strength and protection with this blend of sandalwood, dragon's blood, pine, and more. Let's just give a nice spray. That smells very good, and that is a lot stronger than the candle scent, but it's similar. Oh, look how cool this is. Oh, it's so pretty. It has such wonderful colors. They're all muted to really stay in the same color scheme, 
and it has some nice different ruins on it, some, some Viking symbols here. Oh, I really love this. This is the Norse altar cloth. Adorn your altar with ancient energy with this exclusive altar cloth. Watercolor art depicts many Norse symbols, such as a Viking ship, wooden shield, Viking warriors, and more. I'm going to go with this. The Viking Cuff Bracelet. These silver-toned unisex bracelets will help you add warrior energy to any outfit. It's really pretty. I really like it. It's really hard to get on. And it doesn't really seem to want to give. It doesn't have a lot of bend to it. Or maybe I'm just afraid to bend it too much. But it's very tight. I really like the way it looks. Not the way it looks on me, though. So the way the cuff is, it's a little big, I guess, around my actual wrist. But it's too hard to get it over an actual on so maybe I will put this in some kind of future giveaway at same some point in time or maybe this is just going to display on my altar in a different way or maybe I'll use it in a craft I'm not sure but I really do like the bracelet itself it's very pretty it just doesn't it's not comfortable and it's kind of hurts to get on and off up next we have the Eclectic Witch Expansion Pack. Oh, it feels so good. I love this. We have the Norse Full Expansion Pack for the Eclectic Witch Deck. This full nine card deck contains tons of information on well-known Norse deities and concepts for you to use in your Norse magic and rituals. If you're interested in this box, I looked on the website before unboxing and it looks like there's about nine left as of the time that I am unboxing this. If you want to get 10% off of this box or any of your order from Ink Goddess Creations, then make sure to use the link that I put in the description so you can get 10% off of your order. So the items I do like, I really love the full expansion pack for the Eclectic Witch deck. I really like the Veg Vizier altar tile, and I really love the altar cloth. I like the idea of the bracelet, but I wish that it was in a leather um, so that it was more comfortable to wear. Uh, the Odin Mist, it smells really good, and the candle, yes, I like it. I really am disappointed with the runes, and I'm disappointed that there's not kind of a crystal or gemstone something of some kind in here because there has been I believe with every other box while I understand the wait time for this box was because of shipping um, I am a little bit disappointed in this box I do like some of the items but overall it's not my favorite box that I've ever received from the inked goddess creations Normally we get a little card in here that tells us what the theme for the next month's box is. It doesn't look like we have a card in this box. But I did check on the website and the next month's box is going to be the element of Earth. So that is the fourth element of the element boxes that they have come out with. I'm really excited about that. I hope that you will join me for that unboxing. 
If you have not yet subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and will help you stay up to date on all the future boxes that are coming out. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure and hit that playlist. I hope you have a magical day. And until next time, treasures, keep crafting.